Hey guys, this is Philip Frogs, certified Ableton trainer and Point Blank instructor. In these videos, we're going to be looking at some of the latest features in Ableton Live 9.5. If you want to learn more Ableton techniques, make sure you check out our courses at pointblanklondon.com. So it's in November 2015 that Ableton announced their new technology, Link. Link solves all the problems we've been facing for the last 25 years on stage when trying to synchronize hardware, software, any musical instruments. So before we learn how to set this up and how it works, let's understand what problems we faced. So before Link, we could very well synchronize to computers or even hardware using, for example, manual control. So, for example, in Ableton Live, you could tap the tempo with this button here, or you could simply nudge the tempo down or up using, you know, your mouse or using your controller. But this was slightly unreliable, but it did, did do the trick for a number of years. Now, other systems involved MIDI networks. So this obviously meant we had to use MIDI leads, MIDI interfaces, set up the channels, quite a lot of setup involved. Now, we could also synchronize to computers using an ad hoc network and create a MIDI session, a virtual MIDI session between the computers, or maybe even use Ethernet cable to create this network, this MIDI clock between the two machines. But we constantly had these tempo fluctuations between the machines. Look how this tempo is fluctuating. That's the kind of things we used to see. And also, we had this master-slave relationship between the two machines and between the hardware and the software, which meant that only the master could dictate the tempo. And if that master stopped its timeline, if we stopped the sequencer, all the other machines would stop as well. So it was rather rigid and it did the trick, but now Link solves all of these problems. So how does it work? Well, Link replicates all the natural interactions there would be between real musicians, real instruments. We all share the downbeat. We all go on the one. There's no slave-master relationship. Everybody can change their tempo at any moment. Anybody can stop their timeline and then go back into that shared timeline at any time. So it's also extremely easy to set it up. L let, me, let me show you how to do it. Now, you need two wireless devices. This could be a tablet or phone, maybe a computer. And there, you need to enable them onto the same network. So you could create an adult network. So that's a, a computer-to-computer -computer network. So I could create a network for my computer, and all the other devices would log on to that network. But we could also very well use uh, the router in your studio or in your house. That would do really well. Once this is done, you need to enable Link in whichever app you're using. So we'll see the list of apps that use Link at the end of the video, but let's look at it in Ableton Live. So let's go over to the preferences into that Link MIDI tab, which has been renamed since Link has appeared. And now we can show Link, which now appears on the top left corner of our session here. Oh, let's just redo that. There you go, show. And now it appears over here. I can enable it that way. Just click on it. Now let's do the exact same thing over to the second computer. I've set it up here. And go over to the same network that way. And in the preferences, let show and hide the link. Now as soon as I enable the link, I should see one link connection has been made. You see, one other participant has been detected on that shared network on that shared link session. Now look at the timelines of both Ableton Live sessions I've got here. They behave, you know, the, the transport bar behaves very differently. It shows us they are now sharing their timelines. Now let's start the first session here. So let's enable the click and let's experiment with that at first. So let's play this one. That's it. Nothing different here. It started on the downbeat. And let's now enable the second one and listen to that clock it waits and that's it it's in dead on now i can change the tempo let's say from that computer slow it down yeah and both computers are following seamlessly there's no fluctuations whatsoever let's now move the tempo from that machine let's go a lot, a lot quicker see both machines are following so tightly it's amazing we never had that before with, with any other uh, technology we had before, yeah? Let's experiment now with actual clips, actual musical clips, shall we? All right, let's stop the metronome here and start this bass line I've got here. 
that. Let's move, let's move the tempo up a bit. Cool. Let's now start a an audio clip from that that session here. It flashes and it's right dead on. Look, fantastic. I can jam with my bass line. Look, I can stop the sequencer here. The other one does not stop, it carries on. And as I launch my sequencer back on, it flashes for two bars, because my global quantization is on two bars, and it's back on. So you see how easy this was to set up. It took about two clicks to make it work. And this would happen exactly the same way with whichever app you're using it. Look at the list of apps that are actually using already Link. And the, the, the list is growing every day. Ableton has made it available for all manufacturers to use Link and integrate Link in their product for free. It's the equivalent of MIDI in 82. For me, I've been a performer for about 25 years. This simply changes everything and I know quite a lot of professionals that have already used Link and are using it as part of their setup because it's so tight it's so easy to set up it's really really efficient we've seen a number of electronic jams coming up for the last six months since they've they've launched that product um, here at point blank we've had 12 participants here in an Ableton user group uh, we've had 12 participants on the same session and all sounded really musical and easy to, to work with. Try it for yourselves if you need to uh, work with your mates on stage or maybe in the studio to jam and come up with ideas. I think a link is for you. It's I think a link is for everybody, really. Mm -hmm.